Hello again. I was thinking about everybody and something that I've been noticing as I'm walking around is all the beautiful flowers outside. If we were at school, we would be doing some flower arranging, but since we're not, I thought I would show you some of the things you can use at home to do flower arranging with your family and with things that you find at home. Here's a little shot of some of the vases I have at my house, some of the things you can use to put flowers in. I just have a bunch of little jars and vases I've collected. There's an old salsa jar that I thought was pretty, an apple butter jar, a little vase. Uh, there's a jelly jar and just some other little containers that I use to put flowers in at my house. So those are some of the things you could use, but you can look around your house and see what kind of containers you have that might hold water and flowers. Let me show you some of the flowers I found in my yard today. Over here is a cute little dandelion and some daffodils. Oh, there's even a big stick that I found. There's some more flowers. And here are some of the vases I'll be using. I'm gonna try and see what I think works the best. Oh, there's my big pitcher of water. I don't know if you can see it very well. So I'm gonna make a flower arrangement. I'm gonna show you how I do it, so maybe you could do it at home too. Hmm, first, I think I'm gonna pick a small jar. This is a jelly jar. I just had it at my house. Next, I need some water. I have a big pitcher of water. I have big hands, so I have a big pitcher. You might wanna find a small pitcher to pour from. So first I'm gonna pour a little water in. I'm gonna see how far it goes up. Do you see? I can see through this glass so I can tell how far the water goes up. Let's do it. Yeah, I think that's enough. That's about right there. I think that should be enough. Let's see, I have some big flowers and some small flowers. I have a purple hyacinth. <sighs> it smells so good. I think that'll fit nicely in here. There. And I found some leaves outside. So I think I'm gonna put that in there too. Hmm. That looks a little big. I think I'm gonna take it out and try a smaller leaf. Oh, I found these yellow leaves. I'm gonna try some of those. Yeah, and a little green leaf with a yellow stripe. And I think, I think my dandelions would fit good in there. You probably have these somewhere around. You could find them. There, there's my flower arrangement. I think I have enough flowers to make another one. So I think I'm gonna use this big blue jar. That might take a lot of water. Let's see, let's see if we can see it when it goes all the way up. of my water. Let's see. I think I'm going to put a daffodil in here. Yep. Another one. I think that one might be a little too big. I'm going to move that over here. So I need to cut this one. Parents, when I have toddlers cutting, um, I always hold the stem like this 
and I ask them to cut between my fingers, between using child, you know, safe scissors. Um, but that way you don't end up with a bunch of flowers that are cut right up here. So I'm gonna cut this flower. I have big scissors. I'm gonna cut this flower with my big scissors because I think it's too long. Let's try that. Oh yeah, I like that a lot better. Let's see, I have a very pale yellow daffodil and it's got one bud that hasn't opened up yet. Maybe it will open up when it's in here. Oh, very pretty. Let's see, I found a lot of flowers while I was outside today. I think I'll put some leaves in there too. I like long, flowy leaves. There. I don't know, I think maybe I'll put, maybe I'll put the stick in, but I think it's too big. So I'm gonna just take a piece of it. I'm gonna have to break it, I can't cut it with my scissors. Oh, did you hear that? Let's see what that looks like in there. Ooh, yeah, I like it all together. So, if you are outside and you see something beautiful you would like to bring inside, um, a flower or a leaf or anything you find beautiful, you can put it in a little bit of water and you can put it on a table in your house and it makes your house feel very cheery. I really like to flower arrange. Um, I also, before I go, I wanted to share a song with you. This is a song we sing in the toddler room um, and it can be modified for any season and you can change what you're singing about. For example, this is how it goes. Spring is here and how do you know? Spring is here and how do you know? Spring is here and how do you know? The falling rain told me so. But you could change it too like this. Spring is here and how do you know? Spring is here and how do you know? Spring is here and how do you know? The blooming flowers told me so. And you can change that to be summer, uh, fall or autumn or winter. We sing that song all year in our classroom. Anyway, I hope you get outside and I hope you're able to do maybe a little bit of flower arranging. And um, I think that's it. Goodbye, happy flower arranging.